This is a review on the Reef Cement by Neos. Uh, they, they've done a great video on how to build a reef using this product in a dry environment, but they do make the claim that you can use this in a wet environment. And for reefers, that sounds pretty cool because you can use epoxy to build a reef. Epoxy doesn't work so great in a wet environment, it just doesn't stick. Um, so I was really excited to try this. Don't do it. You can use this to build a new reef in a dry environment, but I really don't recommend that you go for the marketing hype or the bad translating or whatever it was that led them to say you could use this in a wet environment because at the very minimum you're gonna get a pH spike. Maybe you don't care about that. Um, mine went up to 8.6 from 8.1 um, when I tried it, but for me personally it was just a bad experience all the way around because I tried to mix it dry and it went off too fast and then it just crumbled in the tank. I mixed it wet and then it just kind of disintegrated in the tank. I couldn't find that sweet spot that supposedly exists and unless you're really good at mixing cement already uh, and if you have a lot of experience I wouldn't suggest that just the casual user like me go out and get this and try and put it in to their existing reef. Why don't you uh, look at the fast forward clip of a little bit of fun that I had on using this product. Again, I do recommend it. Uh, it's pretty cheap if you're going to build a new reef. Uh, a lot cheaper than epoxy, I think. Um, so go ahead, yeah, pick some up to build your new reef, but don't do it in an in existing reef. <laughs> You'll be sorry. Watch. So guys, if this is your first time checking out my channel, give me a thumbs up. You're probably gonna wanna hit a thumbs down on this because this was a really bad idea. Hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching. We'll be uh, making another video here pretty soon.